This morning, we've got more Summer Camp Week fun to talk about with a wild adventure for the kids who will definitely want to flock to the Audubon Society once school lets out. This morning, we are welcoming Audubon educator Lisa Maloney, who has brought along this red-tailed hawk friend of hers. First of all, good morning, Lisa. Good morning. So great to have you here. Thank we always you. love when we can spotlight the tremendous work that you're doing at the Audubon you. Society, you know, day after day, year after year. It's great stuff. But what do we need to know about Atlanta? That is her name, the Red-Tailed Hawk. Yes, yes. So Atlanta's been with us at the Audubon Society for about a year. So she's been acclimated to us here in Rhode Island. Right before that, she lived in Maine. Okay. So even though she's a southern girl, she's from Atlanta, she has acclimated she, to our, our winters here. So she's been able to figure out. Switching yeah. jobs, moving city to city. Exactly. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. Just, you know, looking for work. We'll fly for work. Well, unfortunately, she can't fly anymore. Right. You can probably see her. Her right wing there is drooping a little bit. We think it was probably a car that right. she ran into, but she could have also run into a building. We weren't there, so we don't exactly know the story about what caused her injury, but because of that, she can no longer fly, and that's why we take care of her. And I was reading, um, she is truly remarkable, and now she lives with you at the yes. Audubon Society, and you use her, of course, as a real teaching vehicle for the kids. They can Absolutely. get up close and personal, learn something, and that's how it all works, right? That's how it all works. So she will visit with us, like today, she took a ride in my car with me. She'll visit schools, libraries, she'll visit community centers, and she'll show everybody her beautiful plumage like this. She'll visit the summer camp over the summer. And I was reading that the red-tailed hawk is, oh, look out. <laughs> she just wants to show you her wings. And she's got you, an impressive wingspan. Absolutely. It's, it's <laughs> remarkable and magnificent. Look, she looks like an, out of an Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Nevermore. <laughs> absolutely. So indigenous to most of North America, I was yes. reading the red-tailed hawk. Absolutely. We were just talking about how wonderful their, their coloration is. She's got kind of a, a chocolate brown color, but she lives on um, in an aviary with another red-tailed hawk named Finn who's much lighter colored so he's kind of a, um, a much lighter on the front he had a lighter tail when we first saw him he had his light eyes because he was still pretty young absolutely we yeah. can't take our eyes off of Atlanta of course but there are other things to discuss let's chat about the camps what the families camp. out there need to know absolutely so our camps run from the end of June until the middle of August and right now are only about 50% full so there's lots of space left for you We'd love to have your families come and visit us. Atlanta and other animals will come visit those kids. They'll explore outside. They'll do some discovery, some investigation. They'll get a chance to know about nature. Just, just hands on and, and close up. I and love have it. A good time outside. And let's talk ages available. Yes. Yeah, so very young, two and a half, all the way up to 15. Oh so, my goodness. Yep. So our oldest camp, we do a naturalist training camp at our Seekonk Refuge, and we do our youngest ones down in Bristol, which is the other site for our summer right. camps. Two sites, double the fun. Exactly. So exactly. I'm too old, is what you're saying, for oh, the camp. I know you. You'd have to come and volunteer. Well, I like how you brought the camp to me. <laughs> right. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. Pretty darn good. And uh, exactly. camp scholarships are available as well. They are, exactly. So please do apply for those. We, we want to make sure that everybody who wants that experience can have that experience. It must be so rewarding for all of you there not to do this work, as I said, day in and day out, but when the young people can really take something away from Absolutely. the experience. I mean, they it's cliche, they are the future, but if they can, I mean, knowledge is the most powerful tool that any of us can possess. And if you start young, it's even better. Absolutely. I mean, it's amazing seeing those little guys get out there and turn over logs and look at bugs and go, what? This is so much fun. Well, I should point out to the viewers at home, I did not shake your hand because you said Atlanta may have tried to get right. onto my arm. So there are lots of things that we can learn, you know. That's right. And exactly. who wouldn't want to crawl up my arm, That's right, Lisa? Right. Exactly. You look like a nice tall perch to her. Thank so you very you go, much. Right? Someone should sketch the three of us right now. Well, That's right. Exactly. Great pleasure to have you here. Thank you Best very of much. luck moving forward at the Audubon Society. Great. If you guys would like to learn even more all about the great camps available at the Audubon Society of Rhode Island or to see this segment again, Again, to check out Atlanta. How beautiful yeah. is she? You know what to do. Just head on over, fly on over to roadshow.com. <laughs>